Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you guys can install World Painter. Now, if you guys don't know what World Painter is, World Painter is a program where you can terraform, terraform and create your own maps for like servers, uh, server hubs, and all of this stuff. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Alright guys, so once you are here, um, you should be in a browser just like this. Um, so what you want to do is you want to look up in the search or enter web address um, world painter dot dot net and what that will bring you to is here here is world painter now we um so depending on your version of windows you can also there's mac and then i'm not sure about Linux, but there, yeah, here we go. There's Linux right there. But so if you're on Windows, you have to figure out if you're a 32 bit version or a 64 bit version. Um, I'll have a, a tutorial of a flag or a card up here that's like right now that will tell you how to figure that out. So you want to um, click on 64 because I'm 64 bit, so you want to click on download and it's going to download down here. And so, I'm sorry if the vi video is pretty laggy. Um, we have kind of bad internet, and my CPU isn't the best right now. So, yeah. So it's gonna download down here, and because it's an EXE file, it might ask you if it's unsafe. Um, just press uh, keep. So now that you've downloaded it, you can close this out, minimize this, go into your, um, go into your file explorer, and go into downloads. Alright, so once you're in your downloads right here, you will see World Painter and then the version um, and then .exe. So you just want to drag this out right here. And uh, as you can see, I actually put mine down here. And the way you do that is you just right click and you go pin to, I should say pin to taskbar. Click that and we'll do it. So you want to double click. What it's going to do is it's going to download it right and so you're gonna set it up just follow all the uh follow all the, the directions now what i want you to go what you need to do is you want to do yes and um this is just going to update it to the existing you know installation as it says there so because i already have it installed i'm not going to go through all of this you guys could probably figure it out on your own but once you have it set up um i'll just meet you guys there Alright guys, so, um, once you have it up and running, there will be a World Painter and a World Painter.exe, just like here. What I want you guys to do is just, you can just put this in the trash now, the recycling bin, and you can empty it. You don't need that anymore unless you want to, like, let's say, you've, like, it gets deleted, you can redo it. So what, so now what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to go into World Painter, and I'm going to show you guys how this works, because I've created... Tons of projects with this. So once it loads, right. So right now we have our plot. You can scroll down and up, and side to side. Now you have um all of this. Have all of this. So I'm just gonna teach you the basics. I'll actually. I'll actually go more in depth for another video, but for right now, I'm just going to teach you guys the basics of, you know, how to get started and all your tools. So, you guys can uh, stick with this one, but this one, uh, I'm, let's say you're just not a fan of it. So, what you can do is you go to File and you do uh, New World. Now, uh, you can also go into... Uh, uh, you can, like, let's say you want to uh, change another world that you have. You can open uh, an existing world of yours. And then here is a new world button. So, that's the save button right here. Wait, yeah, here's the new world. So, if you click on here, you can change it from 1.2 to 1.12. I don't even think 1.2 works anymore. But let's just go 1.14 later. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it tutorial 
And so uh, the dimensions of the world, you can make it 640 blocks by 640 blocks. And, uh, and it's only multiples of 128, as it says. You can even make a circular world if you want a you know, circular um, hub or circular you know, place. You can't really change that. But in the elite snapshots, you can, but don't, you can't really make that a server. So, uh, it'll tell you the edge to edge walking time from the dimensions. And you can make a top, you can make it a flat world. You can make it hilly in a normal world. You can make the hill height. And the higher you go, um, the more um, the tiny pockets down here will get like way deeper. So, I'm just going to keep it at 20, which is standard so I go down to 20 and so horizontal hill size this is your hill size from here to here so if we uh, keep making this go as you can see it the hills the hill will get progressively bigger so yeah and so I'm just gonna make this down to 100 because that's a standard so now you can make the water level on here is 62. It are that's the default Minecraft water level. Um, you can make it the all of the water lava. So, yeah, you can do that. But I'm just gonna keep it water. You can add beaches. So if we get rid of the beaches, it'll get rid of all of the gravel and everything. And I recommend this to start off on a new plot, but you don't have to. So yeah. You can, surface material, you can change it to anything really, you can have grass path, you can have sand, all of this stuff, but, um, advanced means that you can, like, change the terrain a little bit, but th this, this tool actually helps you change the terrain. Alright guys, so the last two things that we're gonna worry about, to, well, the last thing that we're gonna worry about today is the Minecraft seed. So, you can make the Minecraft seed whatever you want. Now, uh, the extended block ideas we won't worry about that. We won't worry about that for now. But you can make the Minecraft seed whatever you want by changing changing this to seed. So you can make it surrounded by ocean. So the plot will be surrounded by ocean. Then you can also make it surrounded by land, but the land won't be mixed in. So yeah. All right. So without further ado, we have our plot. Let's get straight into it. Alright guys, so now that we've created our world, um, I'm just going to show you the basic tools. So, this is usually a tool that you start off first, and it will be the tool that you start off first. Um, if you um, took away all the beaches, because if you didn't, then this will be the tool. But I'll say that for another video. So, this is the height tool. So, you left click to raise the world, and you right click to lower it. Um, and so, you have your brushes over here. I have, um, these are the default brushes, I actually have some custom brushes, but, um, right here, uh, I have a large, uh, brush, this is, like, just for mountains, and so, um, as you, uh, can see, I can create a really nice mountain right here that has some jacket edges with custom brushes, so you guys can actually, uh, go online and download custom brushes, um, like I said, I'll save all of the detailed stuff for another video so yeah so um let's just create our simple little mountain here right now yours will look different and that's totally fine it doesn't really matter and the reason yours will look different is because well uh, you are you don't have my brushes but you if using the school bar you can actually change how big you want this to look so you can actually raise the whole entire thing but we aren't gonna do that I'm just gonna kind of do this for right now. Now, we have the flatten tool, which is also another major tool. So, uh, the little uh, cross in between the um, black uh, square is the flatten tool. So, let's say you want to flatten out an area. You put the little cross on the surface that you want to everything to be leveled to. Like, let's say I want it to be leveled to this surface. And so, then you just drag with left click. And it, you can also right click. I mean, it doesn't really make a difference, but um, I'm, I like to left click, and it'll just make that area flat. So, yeah. And then, so we have um, 
the the smoothen tool here, and this is just smoothens everything out and makes makes it so there's not much jagged edges. I mean, as you can see, the mountain isn't as steep. Now we have the water tool, and if you uh, right as uh, right left click, you can fill out an area, and if you right click, you can get rid of it. But let's just make a small lake there. It's same for the lava tool, but yeah, so that's pretty much it other than the spawn point because everything else is pretty complicated so the spawn point is this and you can just click so I'll set, set it in this flat area here and yeah um so you want to save your world uh, so let's go ahead and do that and um, it'll pop up a menu and it'll like to say what file like what what file that you want to save all your worlds in, you can create a custom file for that, like I have now. So then it's almost automatic. So now what we do is once you're happy with everything, we go to export world. And so you name it whatever you want. Don't you, uh, you can make the underground material stone mix, which like has like stone mixes like andesite and like stone and you know, all that stuff. And so. Yeah, and we won't, this is the world border, you can change that, but, and you can change the seed as well, but, so, mode, it'll, default mode survival with no cheats, you can, I'm just gonna put it on creative with cheats, difficulty, peaceful, this is just a look around, and then map format, beta, 1.14, and later, so, click export, and it's, and because this isn't too complicated, it's gonna export really fast, um, but with longer projects, it can take 20 to 30 minutes just to export because of how big the file is. So, uh, yeah, and you can also save this to Minecraft saves folder, which I have here. So this will almost, it's going to be really fast once it, um, is done. So once this is done and boom. And it'll show you the information, land area, that's how much blocks, 407,000, water area, 1,000 blocks, all this stuff. Press OK. Now, I will meet you guys in Minecraft. Alright guys, as you can see, we're in Minecraft here. Um, I'm in 1.16.4 uh, Optifine, but uh, the reason I'm in this is because uh, snapshots can be a little uh, unstable for the world and buggy. But it, that's completely up to you. Make sure you save it so then you can uh, have the world and you can re-export it just in case it does get world corrupted. So, let's go into single player. Right here, as you can see, we have tutorial. And this it'll say the version is World Painter, so you just click on it. And uh, you just, you can create a backup for this, but um, I'm just going to go, I know what I'm doing. And I'm going to load up the world here. Take too long. Um, now, it it can take, uh, depending on how big your world is, and how big the plot is, so, this thing is loading, really weird, usually just start from the center, but that's kind of weird, it's like black and white, almost, weird, well, 